Hey guys, welcome back to My Mint Life, Annie here. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to strip your towels. Let's go ahead and get started. Now I've been seeing a bunch of posts left, right, and center on Pinterest all about how you, how to strip your towels, why you should be stripping your towels. And it kind of makes sense to me and it was very intriguing. And the point was really driven home when I was out of fabric softener the other day and I washed my towels and I pulled them out of the dryer and they did not smell fresh. They didn't smell bad but when I went to like really really give a really really um give them a good a sniff <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, <laughs> when I went to go give them like a really good sniff um it just it didn't smell fresh it smelled vaguely like I don't know just not it smelled dirty but it didn't smell clean it was like on the cusp of mildew, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but it just, they weren't in great shape. And I have never stripped my towels before. And so I thought I'd give it a try. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my bathtub, throw in some ingredients and soak my towels for a few hours. And we're gonna check the results, see if it's worth it, see what it does and um, just basically see if I should be adding this to my laundry routine. So we are gonna see how long it takes for this to fill up. And I'm gonna kind of like swish everything around once there's enough water in there and then just kind of check it. So I'm gonna check it maybe at two hours, see if anything's coming off my towels and then do it again at four hours. So um, yeah, I'm gonna set a timer and we'll, uh, we'll see what we have. Okay, I'd say it's pretty full enough. I went ahead and grabbed a pair of barbecue tongs that I never use, and I'm gonna give it a good stir, uh, move all of the, the product around and get the towels um, just kind of immersed a little bit in the product. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Cheer up, Charlie. No need to frown. Okay, so the water, I'll give you a close up of what the water looks like. So we can compare. Okay, now as you can see, the water, it's a little bit cloudy. It's not like you can still pretty much see my hand. It's the water's pretty hot. Um, so I guess we'll gauge it by comparison to see how it looks in yeah. two hours and then at four. Okay guys, it is four hours later. The water's disgusting. <laughs> These were dirty towels, of course. Now, the blog post that I had read, the woman uh, who wrote it actually put her clean towels into the bathtub to be stripped. I had dirty towels. I will, <laughs> son's imitating me, you're so cute. <laughs> it's such a cute baby. Yeah, I'm on one Yeah. Um, I didn't feel like going through the hassle of putting clean, hopefully cleaner yeah, than this clean. towel. Yeah. I only did my dirty towels. I will do this again next week. I will make sure that we use towels that haven't been stripped. I do have towels in my linen closet and I will uh, kind of separate those out, pull them out for us to use and then wash those the next time I do laundry after I've stripped them just so everything gets stripped. Eventually I will move on to doing my sheets as well because you're supposed to do pretty much any sort of uh, linen textile. Sorry, I shook my camera. So um, again, I just pulled all the towels out. I wrung them out a little bit, not too much, because I'm gonna stick them in the washer anyway. 
toss them in the dryer, see how they smell, how they feel, and kind of just over time use. If they are more absorbent, fluffy, super awesome, we'll see. But yeah, I am just like, so <laughs> it pulled out a lot. Now some of it is kind of pink. I did have a magenta towel in with the rest of my um, predominantly blue towels. So it is tinged kind of pink, but there's a lot of dirt in there. So this seemed really, really worth all the kind of, it's, it's not even really a hassle because I basically just left it in there. I stirred it every so often. Uh, but it seemed kind of, the juice is worth a squeeze here. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and stick everything in the washer and then I will update you on the results. Okay, so these are two beach towels and um, one I stripped and one I didn't. And you can clearly see the difference in texture between the one that was stripped and the one that wasn't. This, the nap is up more, it's fluffier, It uh, the blue is definitely brighter. Uh, compared to this which lays more flat so this was cool that you could visually see the difference I just wanted to give you guys um, a bit of a comparison between one that was stripped and one that wasn't they're both clean but clearly this one looks like it's going to be uh, much more absorbent it's much more fluffy etc etc okay guys so I, it's much later in the day, I pulled out my load of towels out of the dryer, uh, folded them up, and as you saw, you could see the texture comparison. Uh, hopefully, visually, it shows up on camera, but to the naked eye, definitely a huge difference. It, I did not use fabric softener, mainly because I did not want to um, mask any smell that might remain and also to just kind of rid it of any residue that fabric softener leaves on there. I do plan to use fabric softener in my towels in the future, but incorporating that with stripping, I think it'll be okay, just because I like the scent. And um, it's kind of inconvenient to wash just my towels all at once, but maybe if I did this every season, strip my towels, threw them in, and then um, just have that one cycle where they didn't have softener, I think that would make a huge difference. But it's definitely brighter, it's visibly fluffy, and this is a beach towel, so it's not like it's something that's gonna be super plush. Uh, beach towels tend to be thinner, and it, <clears throat> it smells really, really good. It smells fresh, it smells clean. There's no hint of like that weird uh, mildewy smell that towels can get. It feels really good. It definitely does not feel softer than a towel that has been dried with softener. Sorry, it's my tripod is on a rug and I keep kicking the rug and it shakes the camera. I don't mean to do that. Anyhow, um, like I was saying, it does not feel softer than the towels that have been washed with fabric softener, but it definitely feels fluffier and it still feels soft and it feels pleasant. It feels uh, basically the way you want a towel to feel. So I am completely happy with this process. It definitely works. Visually, you can see it, you can feel it, you can smell it. it covers all the senses. And I have fresh, awesome, super cool towels and I'm really looking forward to using them. Um, I'm gonna replace my towel uh, tonight. So this is really, really cool. I highly recommend any of you who are having trouble with like funky smells in your towel, Maybe they're not absor as absorbent as you'd like them to be, or really just any time as part of a regular cleaning process because it was really dismaying how much grime was left in the towel. And I know that towels have a tendency, especially white towels, they get dingy really quickly, especially A, if you don't use bleach, B, if you wash them with darker colors, and see just over time with skin cells and all of the things that they scrub off because we do tend to use them in a sloppy motion like we do no other um, no other textile that we have. Um, but yeah, this worked insanely well. I am so happy. Like I said, you can visually see, you can see that this one's brighter and this one's much more dull and they're both clean. So yeah, totally happy with the results. I highly recommend this process. And like I said, I didn't have washing soda. I don't know if that would make a bigger difference. I probably will the next time I do this, I probably will pick up 
a package of it because I've never used it before. I know that a lot of people use it as the base when they're making their own laundry, um, when they're making their own laundry soap. But I'm definitely gonna give it a try with the directions that were listed. Like I said, I used baking soda, which you can use in a pinch, and I used liquid detergent, which the blog recommended powder, and it worked great. It really worked great. I, again, I am just like, I am, I'm enamored. I'm, I'm in love with my towels. Yeah, this is, um, it feels, I don't know, it just feels good. And it smells really good. It just smells so fresh. And again, I did not use any fabric softener to scent the product. So yeah, this is totally awesome. There's nothing masking any scents hidden in the towel. So totally happy with that. Again, highly recommend, highly suggest that you add it into your cleaning routine. I would recommend seasonally. I don't think this is something that you have to do super frequently. It's definitely not something that has to be done every laundry cycle. So, uh, but yeah, brighter, fluffier, fresher towels, you know, how can you go wrong? Anyhow guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you like, let me know in the comments below how you feel about videos like this where I kind of do experimentation and um, kind of do a guinea pig thing because I do like trying new processes. I like, you know, experimenting with not only beauty but also with home stuff. So uh, this was definitely a win for me. And again, I'd like to know if you guys want to see more of stuff like this. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you all in the next video with a clean towel. Bye for now.